I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. I communicate now. Question 94.1 Questioner, could you first please give me the condition of the instrument? Answer, I am Ra. There is some small increase in physical energy deficit. It is not substantial. All else is as at the previous asking. Question 94.2 Questioner, I have questions here from the instrument. The first one is, is our fifth density friend responsible for the instrument's extreme distortion towards pain during and just after sessions? Answer, I am Ra. Yes. Question 94.3 Questioner, is there anything that we can do that we are not doing to remedy this situation so that the instrument does not experience this pain or as much pain? Answer, I am Ra. There is little that can be done due to a complex of pre-existing distortions. The distortions are triple in the source. There is the, shall we say, less than adequate work of your chirurgeons which allows for various distortions in the left wrist area. There is the distortion called systemic lupus erythematosus, which causes the musculature of the lower left and right arms to allow for distortions in the normal, shall we say, configuration of both. Lastly, there is the nerve damage, more especially to the left, but in both appendages from the thoracic outlet. In the course of the waking behavior the instrument can respond to the various signals which ring the toxin of pain, thus alerting the mind complex, which in turn moves the physical complex in many and subtle configurations which relieve the various distortions. Your friend greets these distortions, as has been stated before, immediately prior to the beginning of the working. However, during the working the instrument is not with its yellow ray chemical vehicle and thusly the many small movements which could most effectively aid in the decrease of these distortions are not possible. Ra must carefully examine the mental configurations of the mind complex in order to make even the grossest manipulation. It is not our skill to use a yellow ray vehicle. The weight of the cover has some deleterious effect upon these distortions in some cases and thus we mentioned that there was a small thing which could be done, that is, the framing of that which lifted the coverlet from the body slightly. In order to compensate for loss of warmth the wearing of material warming the manual appendages would then be indicated. Question 94.4 Questioner, I immediately think of the instrument wearing long underwear under the robe that it now wears and an extremely light, white cover. Would this be satisfactory? Answer, I am Ra. Due to this instrument's lack of radiant physical energy the heavier cover is suggested. Question 94.5 Questioner, in your statement, at the beginning of it, you said, less than adequate work of, and then there was a word that I didn't understand at all. Are you familiar with the word that I am trying to understand? Answer, I am Ra. No. Question 94.6 Questioner, then we'll have to wait until we transcribe the material. I assume that our fifth density negative friend doesn't cause these distortions all of the time because he wishes to emphasize the fact that the instrument is going to be distorted only if she attempts one of these service to others workings and, therefore, attempts to stifle the workings. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is partially correct. The incorrect portion is this. The entity of which you speak has found its puissance asterisk less than adequate to mount a continuous assault upon this instrument's physical vehicle and has, shall we say, chosen the more effective of the space-time nexi of this instrument's experience for its service. Asterisk puissance, the power to accomplish or achieve, potency, less than of. Question 94.7. Questioner. Could you tell me why I have felt so tired on several recent occasions? Answer, I am Ra. This has been covered in previous material. The contact which you now experience costs a certain amount of the energy which each of the group brought into manifestation in the present incarnation. Although the brunt of this cost falls upon the instrument, it is caparisoned by pre-incarnative design with the light and gladsome armor of faith and will to a far more conscious extent than most mind, body, spirit complexes are able to enjoy without much training and initiation. Those of the support group also offer the essence of will and faith in service to others, supporting the instrument as it releases itself completely in the service of the one creator. 
Therefore, each of the support group also experiences a weariness of the spirit which is indistinguishable from physical energy deficit except that if each experiments with this weariness each shall discover the physical energy in its usual distortion. Question 94.8 Questioner, thank you. I didn't mean to go over previous material. I should have phrased my question more carefully. That is what I expected. I was trying to get a confirmation of my suspicion. I suspected that. I will try to be more careful in questioning. The second question from the instrument says, While on vacation I uncovered a lot about myself not consciously known before. It seems to me that I have coasted a lot on the spiritual gifts given at birth and never have spent any time getting to know my human self which seems to be a child, immature and irrational. Is this so? Answer, I am Ra. This is partially correct. Question 94.9 Questioner, then she says, If this is so, this seems to be part of the riddle about the manner of my beingness that Ra spoke of. I fear that if I do not work successfully on my human distortions I shall be responsible for losing the contact. Yet also Ra suggests the over-dedication to any outcome is unwise. Could Ra comment on these thoughts? Answer, I am Ra. We comment in general first upon the query about the contact which indicates once again that the instrument views the mind-body-spirit complex with jaundiced eye. Each mind-body-spirit complex that is seeking shall almost certainly have the immature and irrational behaviors. It is also the case that this entity, as well as almost all seekers, has done substantial work within the framework of the incarnative experience and has indeed developed maturity and rationality. That this instrument should fail to see that which has been accomplished and see only that which remains to be accomplished may well be noted. Indeed, any seeker discovering in itself this complex of mental and mental-emotional distortions shall ponder the possible non-efficacy of judgment. As we approach the second portion of the query we view the possibility of infringement upon free will. However, we believe we may make reply within the boundaries of the law of confusion. This particular instrument was not trained, nor did it study, nor worked it at any discipline in order to contact Ra. We were able, as we have said many times, to contact this group using this instrument because of the purity of this instrument's dedication to the service of the One Infinite Creator, and also because of the great amount of harmony and acceptance enjoyed each by each within the group, this situation making it possible for the support group to function without significant distortion. We are humble messengers. How can any thought be taken by an instrument as to the will of the Creator? We thank this group that we may speak through it, but the future is mazed. We cannot know whether our jest may, after one final working, be complete. Can the instrument, then, think for a moment that it shall cease in the service of the one infinite creator? We ask the instrument to ponder these queries and observations. Question 94.10 Questioner from the previous session the statement was made that much is veiled to the most apparently clear observation. Would Ra expand on what was meant by that statement? I assume that this means the veiling of all that which is outside of the limits of what we call our physical perception having to do with the spectrum of light, etc., but I also intuit that there is more than that veiled. Would Ra expand on that concept? Answer, I am Ra. You are perceptive in your supposition. Indeed, we meant not any suggestions that the physical apparatus of your current illusion was limited as part of the veiling process. Your physical limits are as they are. However, because of the unique biases of each mind, body, spirit complex there are sometimes quite simple instances of distortion when there is no apparent cause for such distortion. Let us use the example of the virile and immature male who meets and speaks clearly with a young female whose physical form has the appropriate configuration to cause, for this male entity, the activation of the red ray sexual arousal. The words spoken may be upon a simple subject such as naming, information as to the occupation, and various other common interchanges of sound vibratory complex. The male entity, However, is using almost all the available consciousness it possesses in registering the desirability of the female. Such may also be true of the female. Thusly an entire exchange of information may be meaningless because the actual catalyst is of the body. This is unconsciously controlled and is not a conscious decision. 
This example is simplistic. Question 94.11. Questioner, I have drawn a small diagram in which I simply show an arrow which represents catalyst penetrating a line at right angles to the arrow, which is the veil, depositing in one of two repositories which I would call the right-hand path and the left-hand path, and I have labeled these two repositories the experience. Would this be a very rough analogy of the way the catalyst is filtered through the veil to become experience? Answer, I am Ra. Again, you are partially correct. The deeper biases of a mind, body, spirit complex pilot the catalyst around the many aisles of positivity and negativity as expressed in the archipelago of the deeper mind. However, the analogy is incorrect in that it does not take into account the further polarization which most certainly is available to the conscious mind after it has perceived the partially polarized catalyst from the deeper mind. Question 94.12 Questioner, it seems to me that the experience of the mind would act in such a way as to change the nature of the veil so that catalyst would be filtered so as to be acceptable in the bias that is increasingly chosen by the entity. For instance, if he had chosen the right-hand path the experience of the mind that would change the permeability of the veil to accept more and more positive catalyst. Also the other would be true for accepting more negative catalyst if the left-hand path were the one that was chosen. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is not only correct but there is a further ramification. As the entity increases in experience it shall, more and more, choose positive interpretations of catalyst if it is upon the service to others path and negative interpretations of catalyst if its experience has been of the service to self path. 